Hello and welcome to Ally Korea's Real Estate News. My name is Hamoin Mikura with the headlines of today. One of Dubai's leading companies, the Concept Group, continues to attract attention locally and reveals plans to develop globally. Buyers continue to express confusion over where to invest in the real estate market in Dubai. And Qatar Airways continues to expand into its European market as tourists continue to flock to Dubai. The Concept Group is a communications company that has been established for over 25 years. From outdoor contracts with the Roads and Transport Authority to prestigious deals with the Singapore Tourism Board, the Concept Group is one of Dubai's leading companies. John Whitfield finds out what makes them so special in such a competitive market. Stay tuned for more. With recent doubts increasing over Middle Eastern stock markets, many investors continue to view real estate as their preferred asset class. With high oil prices, there is massive liquidity in the region. The trend is set to enhance the construction boom throughout the Middle East, and particularly the GCC. Alakari investigates more on the story. Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi has scolded his nation for over-reliance on oil and told it to start manufacturing things people need. The criticisms in an unusual series of speeches in July and August have stirred keen interest in a forthcoming annual September 1st address to the nation. Experts say there is little hope that the non-oil sector of the economy may finally be on the mend as the country has been crippled by international sanctions and serious unemployment. Here with me now is Mr. Steve Bryce, Regional Head of Research at Standard Chartered Bank, to discuss more on the issue. Welcome. How are you, Steve? Very well, thank you. Okay, what do you think of the speeches and what do you think they mean? Well, basically, he's been focusing on the over-reliance on oil imports and, and foreigners. Uh, now, on the over-reliance uh, of oil, uh, obviously, it's a, it's a significant oil producer. It's, it's accumulated significant wealth from this as well. It's FX reserves running around $60 billion expected by the end of this year. That's almost one and a half times the size of the economy. Do you think they could take some patterns from the UAE, for example, tourism? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think uh, the, the diversification effort is, is very crucial. Uh, indeed, one of the, the, the th things we feel is if the Libya gets this right, they could become UAE-like in nature. Hello and welcome to Ally Korea's Real Estate News. My name is Hamoin Mercura with the headlines of today. The humanitarian conference held in Sweden last week raises hopes for funds to rebuild Lebanon. The booming real estate sector across the Middle East continues to create opportunities for Asian businesses. And a Category 4 storm is causing massive destruction along Mexico's Pacific coast. Citizens of Beirut are hoping the humanitarian conference held in Sweden last week will help raise funds to rebuild their homes. Up to $500 million is expected to be pledged this week from international donors. Here's a full update from Lebanon. Emma has announced the launch of their sixth and final tower block in the Dubai Marina. The Delphine will offer one and two bedroom apartments and is on schedule to be completed by January 2008. It follows the successful launch of the Aurora last month. More to follow. One of the most internationally renowned real estate service companies is set to acquire a Dubai-based property investment house. The New York Stock Exchange listed Jones Lang LaSalle is purchasing the RSP Group. The acquisition will allow the company to have a substantial presence in the Middle East region. More to follow. Peacekeeping troops continue to arrive in Lebanon to patrol the borders. Cost-effective real estate continues to be in demand as residents suffer high housing costs. And the celebrations continue as the latest addition to the Japanese royal family is given the name Serenity. Peacekeeping troops continue to arrive in Lebanon to police the border with Israel. Armoured vehicles have also arrived in the capital from France and will be deployed in southern Lebanon. Here's a full update from Lebanon.
So you've had enough of the biggest and brightest in Dubai. Well, why not try the sheer thrills of dune bugging Bedouin style? My name is Hamoy and I'm about to take you on a roller coaster ride where we head to the desert of Dubai. So stay tuned and let's have some fun. We've just been hitting some of the sands. Let me tell you, my stomach was flipping. It was unbelievable. There was even some times I thought we were going to roll over. But as you can see, we've got nothing to worry about because we're completely caged in and we've got the bucket seats as well to prevent me from ever falling out or ever falling over. So stay tuned as we hit the slopes again. 